Local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're in Cuttingsville with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, what's our topic today? So we're right on the side of Route 103 here, and I think many people have probably driven by this beautiful Victorian mansion and wondered, what's going on in there? Is it haunted? What's the story? There's a graveyard across the street. So we called our friends at the Shrewsbury Historical Society, and Barry Griffith is going to join us um, inside to tell us the story behind both this and the cemetery. You want to go in? Let's do it. All right. This place is incredible, Barry. <laughs> when was it built and by whom? Well, it was built by John Porter Bowman, who was born in, here in Vermont back in 1816, learned the tannery trade. He moved to Stony Creek, New York eventually, and lived there for many years, uh, but had some tragedies. Had a baby daughter who died when she was four months old. Wow. His daughter died when she was only 23. And then his, within a year, his wife, Jenny, died, and he was hmm. just heartbroken. So he resolved to come back to Vermont and build a mausoleum across the street. And then he had this mansion built across the way so he could come here and, and be near his loved ones. And so then what happened to the house after he passed? He left what's called the testamentary trust. He left instructions in his will and left this property, the, the cemetery across the way uh, and all the grounds in a trust. He instructed servants to set the table every night in case he or his wife might want to come back. Property was so maintained for a number of years until the 1950s when the money started to get low. There were other tenants for a while. Some, some, uh, some people lived here. There was also a bookshop here in the uh, 1980s, I guess, but it's been vacant for many years now. So you mentioned the upkeep after he had died here, including setting the table every night. Did he believe in reincarnation then? Or? Many people think that he did, yes. Huh. And there have been some tales of hauntings and people thinking that they have heard from him. The bookshop that was here was called the Haunted Mansion Bookshop. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of building this house was really about the mausoleum across the street. So can we go over to the cemetery and take a look at the mausoleum? Sure, let's go. All right, excellent. Well, as we mentioned earlier, he, he wanted to build this, this place for his family, uh, his wife and daughters whom he loved so much. So they set to work on this in 1880. There were 125 workers who worked on this between uh, architects and uh, sculptors. It took more than a year to complete. It, it cost about $75,000 in 1880 dollars, which is a pretty penny today. And in 1881, uh, his wife and two daughters, their caskets were placed here. John would visit them from the mansion across the way from time to time un until he passed away and joined them here. And what's the other building that's just down the way here? Maybe about 50 yards to the south here, there's a greenhouse that uh, Bowman also had constructed. Uh, it, it grew flowers for the graves of. of of his family and others and 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 for keeping flowers on on the grounds and of course on the on the mansion across the way the mansion itself is the interior is closed but certainly people can come to to the mausoleum and stand where we're standing and uh, visit the grounds as well out, outside and if they want to find out more about the bowman family how do they do that well one way a good way of doing that would be to uh, visit the shrewsbury historical society or its website at this place in history 